Here we are, the directors of the festival, the artistic director, Jyotsna Srikanth, and the director, the actual festival director, Srikanth Sharma. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, three years down the line, how do you feel? It, it, it feels great. I mean, I was telling my friend here from uh, 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 Asia, no? that we, one thing we decided when we started doing this is that we wouldn't stop this. So uh, it, it feels really great. We are spread across to four venues. We have now made it a month-long festival. I mean, some of the dream elements have gotten into the basic uh, uh, programmation out here. Uh, programmation, is that the right term? That's what I learned, from <laughs> I learned from Europeans there. So yeah, <laughs> really? The, uh, yeah. <laughs> At Omics and all that, they say programmation. I say, okay. Uh, so I think so it's sort of broad-based uh, and the depth that it's taking now. Uh, one of the uh, one of the Carnatic musicians I heard in Aradhana, that's one of our uh, Dhruv Arts, another project that's so ma she's simply out of the world, the depth she has in Carnatic music. And uh, Carnatic is very central to me. I come from a musical family. I've authored books in music. I've been a music Carnatic music blogger. Uh, and so so Carnatic is what uh, I always think about. And Jyotsna does the rest of the musical mischiefs. She's played for 200 Bollywood films. She, ev everywhere uh, she's around, she's got a sort of foot in, in every other genre. But in Carnatic, I mean, to me, everything that's got an element of uh, uh, innovation, improvisation, bit of script and rest of it, non-scripted type of music. Uh, so I, I see Carnatic there. And hence, all the other musicians that we have drawn, for example, Matthias, be it uh, the Austrian fantastic violinist, he's got this improvisation that, to me, almost st uh, sort of struck a chord with the Carnatic element. So, yeah, it's going great. I'm, I'm tired already. But You're uh, tired already? I'm already tired before <laughs> the festival begins, but uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll take a rebirth in the next few hours and then spring back into the commercial okay. elements. Before we talk to Jotsna, also, I mean, you took two years off from being a, a, a banker, basically, to, to fixing the festival and getting it to this stage, and now you've got it. You must be really proud of what you started off. Tell me about it. Three years, three months. Yeah, I was, I was starving, and that's where I lost my weight, I think. Yeah, I, I, it was fantastic because I don't believe uh, anything being a sidelight. You can't achieve really, isn't it? You agree. So uh, I knew Jyotsna had this dream, and I had this ambition to do something big. Uh, it, it's the diaspora music that was missing. That It's the stage that was missing for so many musicians, just like Jyotsna, just like so many other young friends that I had, and I met almost on a weekly basis somewhere, either in the train or, you know, we were talking, exchanging emails. So, but I never knew that it would be possible, humanly possible, for Jyotsna and me and, and a lot of our friends out here, volunteers who help us out to do this. So, yeah, three years was, was solid hard work, and I, I would really thank all of us, including you, Ashanti. You've been with us for, for a long time now. So I thought you would give up at least somewhere down the line. So, yeah, we've had... Uh, no, not with Jotsna's tenacity, I think. I don't know where she gets the energy, but she does it. Two, two kids, you know, traveling, touring the world as well, not just sta stationary in London. So, Jotsna, I mean, let's hand over to her now, because this is the Jazz Cafe, the legendary stage, and here you are. How do you feel? Very happy. <laughs> She's ever humble, ever humble. So, so Jotsan, tell us about the curation of this festival because, you know, this is one, I, I would say this is probably one of the only festivals in the world where an artist is curating the entire festival and you have like 500 entries coming in and you're picking them by listening to every single one while composing symphonies and touring the world yeah. and looking after two children. So yeah. <laughs> tell us how you do it. And nurturing a functional marriage at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, <laughs> you said it. Yeah, uh, we had around uh, 430 um, submissions through Sonic Brits. And um, I personally heard every one of them. And I did not go by the number of fans they had on uh, Facebook or uh, Twitter. I just went by quality. And I, like, I should like the music. And we have a few of the bands here. Do you want to tell us about them? Yeah, we have a Sunday Driver um, Ch Chandrika here. Um, yeah, it's an amazing band. And I heard her last year, I think, in one of the YouTube links. And then I thought, yes, they must be here. And tell us about the headliners, because you've got um, Kadri Gopalnath coming yeah, in yeah. from India. Yeah. You've got Sushila Raman, who was yeah. here f a little while ago, yeah. before she dashed off to the Royal Festival yeah, Hall. Of course, we have Sushila Raman, who's from London. And Karnat Karnatic music on saxophone is a rarity, and Kadri Gopalnath has mastered it. And he's coming from Chennai. And we also have Pandit Nagraj Rao Bhavaldar. He, he is an expert North Indian classical vocalist. 
amazing vocalist. So um, the Indian government um, cultural attaché of Indian government, Indian Council for Cultural Relations, ICCR have um, sponsored the travel of these artists. So that's how I'm able to put together <laughs> The well, festival. The festival. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Chakrophonics um, is led by Praveen D. Rao, um, a, a very good musician from Bangalore. Also, we have Prabhat Rao, another North Indian classical vocalist, a, a young chap. He's amazing. And also Annapurna Karthik, who is presenting the South Indian um, vocals. So it, it's, it's an eclectic mix of different genres of music. <laughs> and of course, the Jazz Cafe isn't the only venue. You're spread across four venues, as Srikant yes, said. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the other venues. Um, on 26th October, we have uh, the festival at Rich Mix. At Rich Mix, we have this Indian uh, band, contemporary Indian music band, Chakraphonics, and also Mat Matthias Jakisik. He is um, from Austria, and um, he is an expert in loops, electronic music loops, and he's an amazing violinist. And also, we have Afrobeats from um, Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. And on 29th, we have, uh, 29th of October, we have Sunday Driver, and November 6th, we have this music from the north and south of India, classical music, Prabhat Rao representing North Indian classical music and Annapurna Karthik, South Indian classical music. And that's in Redbridge, where you're from? Uh, no, the Brunel Museum that's is the mu in, uh, okay, in, in right. yeah, Sadar. So um, November 9th is at the Jazz Cafe. We have Nordic Ragas um, from Sweden. Um, it's a, a Swedish uh, folk group. Um, um, intertwined with uh, Indian classical music. It's quite interesting. And we have Krar Collective from Ethiopia. And of course, I'm, I'm performing with my contemporary music band and uh, the headliner, Sushila Raman, on November 9th. On November 23rd, it's at the Redbridge Town Hall um, from where I come, Redbridge Borough. Um, we have um, Dhruv Choir um, singing chants for children. This is chants orchestrated. Um, Western That's orchestration. Hindu chants that you train yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Um, around, Sanskrit, yeah. yeah. Around 40 children will be singing these chants wow. with orchestration. And we also have the Ilford County and Woodford County uh, Western Classical Choir and also Red Bridge Music Symphony um, performing. And then we have Pandit Rag Nagraj Rao Havaldar, North Indian Classical Music. And the finale is by the Grand Carnatic Saxophone Concert by Kadri Gopalnath. That sounds amazing. So before you start the performance, yeah. I think, uh, would you like to also uh, kind of uh, tell us a little bit about um, how you see this festival developing even further? Because you've brought it from having one venue to four venues. You've got so many more artists flying from all over the world. See, initially, when I came to this country in 2004, I used to attend lots of concerts. I just wanted to know what was happening in this country. Then I saw that Asian audiences were going only for the Asian music con concerts and vice versa. So I wanted to bring in a festival that has both elements. Asians listen, that they are forced to listen to the other kind of music and vice versa. So this was my dream. And of course, a lot of hard work by Srikanth and <laughs> Finally, it has happened. And just before the festival kicks off, you're going to be winning an award in, in India. Yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Because I want everyone to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, this award is called as uh, uh, Ganakala Shri, and it's quite a uh, prestigious award from Karnataka Ganakala Parishad. Like, uh, this is the uh, top level organization for Carnatic music in Karnataka. So this uh, award function is on 19th October at Bijapur, which is in North Karnataka. And I'm going to perform on 18th, and this Sunday I'm flying to India, coming back. <laughs> and you'll be so back just in time for the festival to yeah, kick yeah, off. Yeah. 26th of October, yeah. Diwali. So yeah. again, this year, yeah. it's a, it's a big, <laughs> big Diwali yeah. um, beginning, yeah. which is fantastic, really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Takadi, 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 Takadi,
sing a couple of songs um, in the South Indian language of um, Canada. They're folk songs that I heard my mum sing as a child. Excuse the English accent. The first one is called Munjane Yeddu and it is a prayer to Lord Krishna with a slightly rocky twist. <laughs> Yeah. 
ಶಿರವೈರಿಯಮ್ಮಿ ಶಿಶವ ಮುರೈಟದು ರಕ್ಷಿಸಿದ ನನ್ನೆ ಅಸುರ ಸಂಹಾರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ದಸ ಶಿರವೈರಿಯಮ್ಮಿ ಶಿಶುವ ಮುರೈಟದು ರಕ್ಷಿಸಿದ ನನ್ನೆ ಅಸುರರ ರಂಗದೊಳು ಬಸ್ವರ ಮಾಡಲು ಅಸುರರ ರಂಗದೊಳು ಬಸ್ವರ ಮಾಡಲು Thank you very much. Welcome to the London International Arts Festival and I'm here with the gorgeous Sushila Raman who's headlining this year at the Jazz Cafe. Yeah, it's just a really great pleasure to be here. I'm just I'm so happy to be part of the LIAF um, and we're really looking forward to it. And I, th I think there's some amazing people here, amazing artists and uh, I think it's going to be really great. So, Sushila, you have a five-star album yet again. It's amazing. Like, you've been putting out some beautiful music. Tell us what we can expect at the gig. Uh, well, the album actually has been released abroad, but it hasn't been released in England yet. So, this gig is like a little special preview. Um, and you're going to get a little teaser of the songs from the album, which is called Queen Between. Uh, it's very much influenced by Kowali. Uh, we went and spent a long time in Pakistan, and um, that was great. And I think that's really informed uh, the album, as well as we, you know, we were working for a long time with musicians from Rajasthan, so you can really hear a lot of that sound. But since then, the songs have really evolved. We've, we've 
kind of come away from the album a bit. So what we'll be presenting is quite new and fresh from you know what you've seen, if people have seen us before, it's, you, they can expect something slightly different. And tell us about the musicians you'll be having on stage here, right here. Yeah. Well, uh, I have the amazing Arif Dervish, who um, is you know longtime companion, uh, tabla player, uh, who we've been working together for about 14, 15 years. And <laughs> Sorry, I'm having to. <laughs> and, um, and then there's, of course, Prasanna Tevaraj, who's the amazing um, Murdangam player um, who works with Ravi Shankar. He had worked with Ravi Shankar and Anushka Shankar. Um, very, very exceptionally gifted young man. Um, we'll be, for the first time, working with Danny Keane on the cello, who also plays with Anushka. Uh, he's a London based cellist and pianist. And of course, I've got my Sam Mills, who's producer, collaborator, co writer. Uh, and of course, myself. Oh, yeah, Kartik Raghunathan, yes, on the violin and voice. Um, and he's doing some very strange experimental things with the violin, which is quite interesting. Yeah. So, and hopefully, we'll you know be able to do a song with Jorsen at the end, so we could all play together, just to finish it off for the night. <laughs> that sounds super exciting. Oh my gosh! And you know what I what I love, and I've loved hearing from you just now, is the fact that you've got a very British band with lots of homegrown talent. Uh, you, you yourself have. Have, have kind of nurtured your talent between here and, and India and Australia. Tell us a bit about that because that fits the festival. It's the London International Arts Festival. There's artists coming from, from different parts of the world. Mm. Well, I was, I was born here and raised in Australia. Um, and, but since I've come back here, I've always tried to create a sound that is quite London, but have also looked home for inspiration and you know, kept going back to India, kept you know, discovering new talents, uh, new voices, and you know, wanting to, to create something that was a fusion. I mean, not not a pretentious fusion, like you know, I'm going to mix this with that. It's like really just more of like how we are, who we are, the people we are, because we're just living life here and getting on, and we have to live in this world, and we're trying to make sense of our realities and who we are. And so, I my music kind of echoes that. Well, wonderful. So we are looking forward to seeing you here at the Jazz Cafe, Sushila. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, me too. So I think Jocelyn has done a, a superb job at curation. She's just brought together a lot of really great things. Um, uh, and I think she's doing really, really well with this festival and um, really very happy to be part of it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So we look forward to seeing you all at the Jazz Cafe. It's still time for you guys to get involved. Four venues, 17 performances, three workshops. I can't wait for it to all get underway. Make sure you guys are there.